right, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about limits. And what limits are, are they're a way to define your drawing area in model space, okay? So in other words, if you're drawing something on the small side, like say a mechanical part, or if you're drawing something very large, let's say a foundation for a, a home, um, you are going to make those drawings or create those drawings one-to-one. -one. You're going to create them their real life full size and you're going to put that full size model or drawing in model space okay so what we need to do before we actually start drawing lines is we need to define some limits we need to define sort of an area in model space where this drawing is going to go so that we are using an area that's usually a little bit bigger than what we're actually going to draw so we have a window view of an area that's easy to work with, okay? So let's just kind of take a look at a couple of other drawings to kind of give you the idea of limits. So I'm gonna come over to a different drawing here, okay? And I'm gonna actually see what the limits are on this drawing. So I'm gonna actually type in the word limits on the command line. And you'll notice here that it says the lower left corner, the default, which is in the greater than, less than brackets, okay, that's the default setting, is zero comma zero. And what they mean is they mean zero comma zero of where the X and Y coordinate meet in AutoCAD, okay? So that's the lower left corner coordinate. Then I'm gonna do an enter, and it's gonna tell me the limits of the upper right corner, okay? Now the upper right corner, um, meaning that it's 12 units here and 9 units high. So it's 12 over in the X and 9 up in the Y, okay? So um, I can change that at this point. I could type in new limits, but when I look at the size of this drawing, which is basically a 6 inch by 4 inch plate, the limits of 12 by 9 are probably about the right size to fit this small drawing, okay? So I'm gonna do an enter there to accept that. And then I'm gonna come over to my navigation bar and in the middle where the zooms are, I'm gonna do zoom all, okay? Now zoom all pretty much brings your viewing screen to those 12 by nine limits, okay? So now let's take a look at a drawing that would be bigger than that. So I'm gonna come over to this other drawing. Now this is a foundation plan drawing. Uh, which is quite a bit bigger than that small mechanical plate because, again, it's drawn full size, okay? So let's take a look at the limits in this drawing. So I'm going to actually type the word limits. And again, we're looking at architectural units here, so we're seeing feet and inches. Uh, but notice the X and Y coordinate default is 0, 0, all right? So I'm going to enter to accept that. And notice the limits of the upper right corner of the viewing area is 80 feet by 60 feet. So 80 in the X and 60 in the Y. So I'm going to accept that. Now I'm going to come over here to where the zoom command is again. And I'm going to pick zoom all. Okay, and it looks like this already had a zoom all done on it because the screen didn't adjust too much. Uh, but pretty much what happened was uh, those limits were set before the foundation was drawn. So that way, when the uh, drafter that decided to draw the foundation had this area set, so when they draw a line that's 36 feet long or a line that's you know 28 feet long, you're able to view it and see it in a specific area on the screen. Okay, so let's go back to our drawing one. And let's check the limits in our drawing one. I'm going to go to limits, and the lower left corner is 0, 0, and the upper right corner is 12 by 9. Now you could change that here if you wanted to, but at this moment those are about the limits I want because the drawings we're going to be doing are going to be small in the beginning. Okay, We're going to be doing small drawings that fit in that size area. So I'm going to leave that. And I'm just going to come over here and do a zoom all. And that's how you see the, the screen um, actually adjusted to 12 by 9. Um, another way that you can kind of get a little look at your coordinates is down here on the status bar. You'll see X, Y, and Z coordinates. And as you move your mouse near the UCS icon, 
it starts to get a little bit close to zero zero. Um, sometimes the UCS icon is just a visual here and it's not exactly on zero zero. You may have to zoom out to see the zero zero coordinate once your mouse is on top of it, but it is kind of close. I'm within negative four. And of course you can bring your cursor up here and you'll see the coordinates change. And I'm noticing that in the X it's saying it's 16 by eight. Okay, now um, the screen is fairly long, but we are fairly close to the limits that we set as far as a viewing area. Okay, so that's the limits. And so if ever I tell you to do a, a zoom all or to check your limits, that's what we're talking about is getting the screen ready to start a drawing. Okay, you can always draw outside the limits. That doesn't matter. Your drawing can get bigger than your limits, but it is a place to start. Okay, so I hope that helps and let's look forward to the next tutorial.